Hi everyone, and welcome to the VCS to Green Build module. In this section, we'll start off by discussing the basic CircleCI concepts, and then we'll work together to set up your first CircleCI config and trigger your first build. After that, we'll add some more useful steps to your configuration, and then finally, we'll end by discussing what's next for you. Before we write our configuration together, let's talk about some of the basic CircleCI concepts. CircleCI shares the concept of a job with many other providers, which is an atomic unit of work or a task that you want to accomplish within your overall process. Some examples of jobs might include unit tests, building and compiling your code, linting and deploying your code, etc. Each job in CircleCI consists of two primary components. The first is the executor, which is the execution environment in which your steps and commands are running, and then of course the steps themselves. Now if we take the concept of a job and we zoom out a level, we have the concept of a workflow, which is one or more jobs that form a full process. Workflows can be extremely simple consisting of just one job, or they may be very complex consisting of several dozen jobs, and fanning out and fanning in, etc. Workflows are where you set the dependencies between these jobs. Finally, the last concept you should know about is pipelines. In CircleCI, a pipeline is an individual trigger or run of one or more workflows. Within your configuration, you have the capability to define multiple workflows if your needs require it. In this example image that you're seeing, all of these pipelines are just one workflow pipelines. However, again, you can have multiple workflows. Having gone over all of this, let's talk through setting up our first CircleCI config. All right, let's go ahead and write our first configuration together. We're going to start off extremely simple and not necessarily useful, and then we'll slowly morph and edit our configuration so that it is useful. So you can use any repository you would like to for this. We recommend using one of the repositories that you plan to onboard onto CircleCI. However, if you would like to, you can always go to circleci.com slash docs to our documentation, scroll down in configuration to the tutorials page, and then on the tutorials page, we have several different repositories which you can clone to follow along. I am going to be using the demo JavaScript React app, which I have forked from the public CircleCI uh, organization in GitHub. And so while doing this exercise, you can use whichever text um, editor you'd like to or IDE you'd like. But in your repository, you're going to first want to create a folder called .circleci. And then within that folder, you're going to create a file called config.yaml. I'm going to go ahead and do everything inside uh, GitHub's built-in editor here. So as mentioned before, every job consists of two primary components, which is going to be the executor and then the steps that you run inside that execution environment. And so first, let's go ahead and define our jobs. There's a top level key called jobs, and then we indent inward and define the name of our job. For this one, I'm just going to simply call it uh, test, just to keep things simple. Now, first we design or we define our execution environment. In this case, uh, the very common scenario is to use a Docker image. And so because my uh, application here is a JavaScript React app, I'm likely going to want to use a node Docker image. To see the list of available images in CircleCI, you can go to circleci.com slash developer, and then we have a tab called convenience images here. And here you can see a list of some of our uh, images that we provide that you can make use of. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on see image node here, and... All right, it looks like this is node 14.13.0. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this right here. And I'm going to paste it in. Here we go. So this is the first job definition right here. We've defined a job called test. We have defined the executor or execution environment to be Docker, and it's going to be CircleCI C image node 14.13.0. And then below in the steps, all we're doing here is checking out the code and then running node dash dash version. It doesn't really do anything. It just prints out the version, but this is enough for now. We just want to get started. In every configuration file, you want to specify the configuration version, unless you have very specific reasons not to, such as using uh, CircleCI server product, which is not using, uh, which does not currently support the latest config version. We always recommend you use version 2.1, which allows you access to all of our latest features. 
After we define our version, we're also going to need to define the workflow. And so we're going to create a workflows uh, statement here. And then in this one, we're going to define a name for a workflow. It can be anything you want it to be. Um, I'm going to say uh, test deploy. And then within test deploy, we define the jobs that we want to run. In this case, just test. And this right here is a very rudimentary, very basic configuration that is complete. We have defined our workflow, which consists of a single job, and then we've defined this job and exactly what it does, as well as the execution environment it runs in. As you can probably tell, it doesn't really do anything yet, but that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and commit this as is, and then trigger our first build. I'm going to commit this directly to the master branch. Continuing from the last video, let's go ahead and onboard your project in CircleCI and trigger the first build. Go ahead and go to CircleCI.com and then in the top right hand corner you should see a button to log in. If you've already logged in then you should see what I'm seeing here which is just go to app. Once you've authenticated and you are logged into the CircleCI interface, you should be on the pipelines page. Yours will likely be empty if you haven't run any builds before, however mine has a lot of activity in it. Go ahead and click on the left hand side on projects. This is where you onboard new projects to CircleCI. We should have automatically propagated your most recent changed, uh, recently changed repository to the top, and so you can see here that for me, CircleCI demo JavaScript React app is at the very top, and so you can just click on the setup project button here. When you click on this, you will be taken to an in-browser editor in which you can choose to conf uh, commit configuration that you write here, but we have already written our configuration and committed it directly uh, elsewhere. So instead of clicking Add Config, we're going to click Use Existing Config. In the future, however, you may directly commit configuration and edit in this browser window right here on CircleCI. The reason we showed you uh, doing it the other way was so that we can get you to understand where the file lives and what the name of the file is in your repository. I'm going to go ahead and click on Use Existing Config, and then I'm going to click Start Building. This will trigger the first build on CircleCI, and will automatically redirect you to the Pipelines page. You can see here that immediately it starts running and building, and so if you click on this button right here to, uh, to go to the test job, you'll be taken to what's called the Job Details page. The Job Details page details all the information about this particular job, including the commit, the author, uh, the execution environment, etc., as well as the steps that you ran in this environment, as well as the output. You can see here we ran node version, we got version 14.13.0, and you can see here everything looks good. And so congratulations, you've just triggered your first green build. Again, it's not necessarily useful, it doesn't really do anything, but it's a good start. Now, let's edit our configuration so that it is doing useful things. Alright, so now that we've successfully triggered our first build on CircleCI, let's modify our configuration so that it's doing things that are a little bit more useful for our project. Um, I didn't explicitly state this in the last video, however, uh, it was expected that you were modifying or tailoring your configuration for your specific needs. And so the reason that I used a node image was because my project is a JavaScript React app. However, if you are working on a, for example, Java project, Android project, etc., you probably would have used the OpenJDK or Android images, etc. And so Going down here, um, just make sure you're using the correct uh, execution environment that makes the most sense for your environment. And then in terms of the steps that you're running, you instead of running Node or NPM or anything like that, you'll just be using your package manager, etc. Now, the typical job that runs tests on CircleCI, for example, usually starts off by checking out the code, which is what you're seeing here on line 13. And then immediately the step after that is usually installing dependencies. And so if I say name install dependencies, and then the command for this is usually going to be your package manager. And so for JavaScript and React, you typically use npm, and then you just run a simple install command. So we run npm npm install and then after that um, you usually kick off your tests just as an example if you're doing uh, maven for example you might run mvn install and followed by an mvn uh, test etc and so again for javascript i'm going to say run tests here and then the command for this is going to be npm run tests now i am going to now i'm actually installing the dependencies and then running the tests 
and then this is an actual configuration that is really doing something. So I'm going to go ahead and say update config to run tests. And then I'm going to, once again, commit directly to master here. And then that commit should have triggered another build. All right, now our test job is running. All right, you can see here that the environment is spinning up. You can watch all of this happen in real time. And the tests are complete. And so now we have an actual job that really does run tests against our application. And that completes this section. Great work getting to this point. By now, you should have a basic understanding of CircleCI and how it functions in general. You should have written your first configuration and triggered your first builds as well. So what's next for you? For the rest of CircleCI Academy, we'll be going into greater detail on various topics. You'll be learning more about configuring the execution environment or executors. You'll be learning about secrets management and scheduling more complex workflows. You'll be learning about test results and build artifacts, which are important for setting up test splitting and parallelization as as well as making use of our insights dashboard and of course you'll learn about build optimization to speed up your builds and debugging as well this is all in the hopes that eventually you will reduce your commit to deploy time and improve developer happiness and productivity over the long run Thank you for joining us for the VCS to Green Build lesson. In this section, we talked about basic CircleCI concepts, setting up your first CircleCI config, onboarding and triggering your first build, adding to that configuration, and then we talked about what's next. If you would like to visit any of the links mentioned in this training or the repository that was used, you can do so in the Resources tab at the top right.